Yo guys, what's up? It's Boric Tube 101 here coming to you guys today with another video. In today's video, we're doing part five of looking at Airbnbs around the globe. In today's video, we are looking at Belgrade, Serbia. So we're looking at how people live on a month-to-month -month basis in Belgrade, Serbia. The main city in Serbia, and I'm pretty sure it's their capital as well. I know it's the biggest city though. So how people are living there in Belgrade, how much their apartments cost, and what their apartments look like. So we're just going to do a little bit out here, April 1st to May 1st, because a lot of people offer monthly discounts for people buying Airbnbs for the entire month. So this is more realistic to a month's worth of rents. But keep in mind, guys, that uh, Airbnb covers all of your monthly bills, so this is your like your entire living expenses minus traveling food but you know like your regular ho your regular house or apartment bills or whatever are included in an Airbnb so we see it are just right around that $1000 mark you see from like 600 to 1700 to 1900 so about $1000 is what your average uh, Airbnb in Belgrade Serbia is going to cost you Let's go ahead and look at $759. Alrighty, so we, we see this New York style living room where the couch is totally not facing the TV. So we have this TV that the table isn't facing and the couch isn't facing. So what is the TV there for? We don't know. New York, everything was like that though. Um... So we have a couch in the bedroom, which is another popular thing in Airbnb. So you have like a chair or couch facing the bed so you can look at someone sleep. Um, but no, so you have, this is actually kind of nice. You have the couch in the bedroom so you can stay on your phone or whatever in your bedroom if you want privacy and the nice bed. You know, you have a nice wooden, well, you have wood on bottom, white on top, which is kind of a weird kitchen. Modern burners, though. I've never, these burners are actually a little bit weird because it's white and it has like these little like circle things around them. But pretty modern burners. Yes, yeah, so you have white wood, white wood, wood, white. So this is a weird mixture of us like the white and the wood to me. Okay, you know, you just have two different tables on each side of your bed, you know, pretty comfortable bed. It seems like basic artwork It's nothing too bad. I'm not sure why there's a rug here though, but this might be a Serbian thing. So we're going to have to see in other apartments if this rug is just a typical Serbian thing and they all have rugs next to their bed. I guess that's for like slippers though. I'm confused as to what this is. We saw, I, don't, I think this other white thing below is a stool. It's, there's a separate leg. So yeah, this pulls out and this is an extra table. For some ungodly known reason. Um, yeah, so we have brown tile, gray tile, and then white up here. So completely different colors, but it looks pretty nice to be honest. Uh, this might be, wait. Oh, this is like a water heater thing. So like all the heated water is saved up in here. I know, I know that's pretty common in Eastern Europe. You know, a nice sink. I like the little dip in the bowl thing. I like how it's more like a rectangular. It looks nice. So we have the washer in the bathroom and they do not have a dryer. So you're either going to have to hang dry your clothes or go to a laundry mat. Whoa. What is this? This is to flush your toilet. So I'm guessing left button is light flush and right buttons heavy flush. That's pretty interesting. I've never seen anything like this before. And so this is the view right outside of your apartment. So you're living in a commie block, basically. This is just like 
Yeah, well, I don't know if it's necessary. Yeah, it's pretty much just a county block. But, you know, it looks pretty nice down on the street, actually. Oh, this actually looks a sketch because there's graffiti. I, I, I mean, I get, like, it's some sort of, like, woke message that we're welcome here. But look at this. There's graffiti everywhere, bro. So, I don't know about that. Alrighty, let's look at $1,443 a month, so double that apartment. Two bed, three bath, wow. For $1,400 a month, that's not too bad at all. And we have like a nice 50 inch TV mounted to the wall. You could easily put an Xbox right there. Put like that in. A uh, nice little decor. Uh, you know, white couch, white rugs. Pretty nice coloring, I guess. I really like this dining table in the back here. Where it's like the wooden, white, and the... Yeah, that's a really nice dining table. Wait, yeah. Oh, uh, so we have a pretty similar bed to the last one, to where there's two tables on each sides, and you have the rugs next to the bed. So that is pretty common in Serbia, I guess, to put your slippers on. I've never seen that. We have not seen that in the other four Airbnbs videos, so it's pretty rare, I believe. It must just be like just a Serbian thing or just a Eastern Europe thing. Uh, so we have the sliding glass doors, a small bathroom, but a nice bathroom, really. Okay, you have a TV in front of your bed. Oh, and this other bedroom's pretty uh, horrible. You literally just have a bed in like a small like closet area, so it's not really two bedrooms. It's a, it's a one bedroom in like one little room with a bed. <laughs> I, I don't know, but yeah, you know, you know, if you have like a little artwork, a little window, an outlet on the floor. Have modern burners, my uh, oven built into the thing, uh, into the counter. Fridge and freezer. You know, the I guess it's decent. Uh, this looks to be in a much nicer area. If this is like right outside of your apartment, I mean, look at that. This is pretty really nice area of. of Belgrade we have businesses right here we have a closing a clothing store coffee this is a nice area it seems like alrighty let's look at the cheapest one so far today at five ninety and nine Entire rental unit. This one, once again, is a two bedroom, 1.5 bathroom. So, so living room. We have a nice chair and a nice uh, corner couch. So, you know, one, two, three, four, you know, like four, five. Five probably max people can sit there. Bro, dude, look at this light fixture, though. This is really <laughs> interesting light fixture here. We have, like, a spear. Uh, it, like, you know, that's a really interesting light fixture, honestly. I like the living room. It's nice. Kitchen, we have a matching kitchen. It's all, like, this little grayish, greenish color, like... 
It's pretty nice with the white top. I kind of like it. It's really, really small oven, though, it seems like with the modern burners, microwave. Oh, this is a, wait, is that the fridge? No, it's, never mind, I'm retarded. Do they have a fridge? <laughs> because they, wait, because they didn't show the fridge. Is that actually the fridge? It looks like a fridge. Nah, it can't be. Well, because look, there's a little, like, white thing where the seal is. This could totally be the fridge. Conspiracy theory? Conspiracy theory time, boys. Dining table. The dining table. Wait. So we have two black glass chairs and two. Well, it's like see through plastic, so it looks to glass, but it's actually plastic. And it's black and blue with blue and black mats. I, I really like the dining table, is what I'm saying. I really like it. Bed. Once again, we have the rug next to the bed and two tables. So Serbian people love their bed rugs and they love their two uh, side tables. Most countries would have a table next to the bed for your phone, but two tables is rather unpopular across the world. And once again, we have the couch next to the bed. Oops. And we have, bro, we have this same light fixture, which is really a very unique light fixture. Very unique. Wait, so yeah, we saw the three... I'm very confused at what I'm looking at right here. It's wait. We have this bed, and then we have two other beds, I I think. Yeah, so there's two beds shoved into one small room with one little, like, table for both of them. Interesting shower because there's no door on this side of the shower. It's only on this left side there's a door. See what I mean? Like, this whole thing's uncovered. But, you know, the sink's really nice. The bathroom's nice. I think, yeah, it, it opens up because there's a crack right here. So there's actually room for, your like, uh, stuff inside of the mirror. You know, like, uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, medicine, that sort of stuff to put inside. Two drawers below the sink, which is nice. Oh, see, this apartment makes it so much worth it right here. Um, washer and dryer and unit in Europe is really shocking. So, we have a washer and dryer in Belgrade, Serbia. With black tiles. So, you are not going to the laundry mat in Belgrade if you're staying in this Airbnb. It's very shocking. An American entrepreneur must own this one. This is only $600 a month. And you get a washer and dryer. And it's five stars, dude. Hosted by Everd. So it's actually a Serbian uh, dude that owns this. Because his name's not an American. But he, he has a washer and dryer. Which is very, very shocking for... Uh, a Serbian couple to put out washer and dryer. I'm very shocked by that. Yep. Washer and dryer included. It says it right here on the front page too for $600 a month. So you really cannot beat this price if you're going to Serbia. Because if you have a nice bedroom, you have a nice bathroom, you have a nice living room. The two extra beds is completely unnecessary though. This is like a one person apartment really. I don't understand why they have the two single beds uh, facing each other. I did not like that too much. Uh, but yeah, let's look at a different one. My computer is about to die, so hopefully it doesn't. 
So there are a lot of apartments uh, in this little corner right here that I was seeing. Uh, you so, see so much more of them pop up once you like drag the map to a different area. Uh, so let's look at 1200 right in this little cluster of apartments. I mean, this looks really, really nice right off the bat for $1,200 a month. You are not finding anywhere like this in America for $1,200. So we have like a 50-inch TV. You know, decent. It's just a decent living room. This weird, uh, this thing right here, it does not look like it goes there, but. This is very hotel-esque. We have like the wooden wall, two fake plants, you know, this is very like a lobby sort of thing. Oh, and, and the lights in it. You know, it's a nice living room, what can you say? Okay, we get it, we get it. It's a nice living room, we get it. Oh my god, oh my god, it keeps going, bro. <laughs> Oh my, it keeps going, it keeps going. Bro. Okay, we finally made it past the living room into the kitchen. Where we have, well these dining room chairs look pretty uncomfortable to be honest. Uh, they look pretty cheap and uncomfortable, but the white tabletop it looks really nice. So the table looks nice. This man bought an expensive table with cheap chairs. And if this dude just spent like an hour extra looking for chairs on Amazon, he could have found much better chairs than those. So it's disappointing because he took time to look for a table, but did not look take time to look for chairs, which is really weird. Um... Well, you know, you have a microwave. You, uh, you don't have an oven in this fixture, so that's very something to keep in mind. There are, because it looks like there's burners in this little black box, so there's no oven. Just a microwave. Yeah, so it doesn't look like there's any sort of oven, really. Dining room, dining room. Where is this view? So this is your bed right here because, look, you can see, like, the mattress and the blanket. So this is your bedroom with a balcony they can sit on and look at uh, the top of this church right here, it looks like. The clouds. It's, it's a nice view. Yeah, this is your bedroom. This is a very nice bedroom because look at the view. <sighs> So this is really skyrocketing the price though. Just the top of this church out here and the sun shining into your bedroom is skyrocketing the price of this Airbnb. Okay, so we have a very crowded, crowded bathroom. I think this is the washer right here. The sink... The toilet and the shower and the air vent. So this is very small and very crowded. Okay, this view is actually better than I was expecting. Because you get like a street view. You can look down at the street and this building. And it looks like there's a road going past there. So I'm guessing we're getting more pictures right here. Yep. Another building. Okay. So this is your entire view off of your balcony. So there is a street view right here. And this... You know, Belgrade sort of city. <sighs> you know, it's a nice place to do work or something on your computer. And this looks like it's like a mall or something because like there's advertisements going across it. Uh, the Zepter Mall, there's an entrance and there's all these different, no, that's not a store, so there, that's like apartment buildings, but there is a store below it. Oh, 
Alrighty guys, um, let's look at 400 and, uh, let's look at 880. One bed, one bedroom, two beds, one bath. So that means it's going to be a bedroom in the living room, which I'm going to hate probably. So there's a small couch, a small chair, a very, very old computer, but a nice view. Or is that a TV? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a TV right there. Because we have like uh, the, DV the DVR, the TV, and the kitchen. So there's a... So there's a, you know, there's a island in the kitchen. So you have lots of kitchen space. There's no oven. There's once again, no oven in this kitchen. So this is the second, uh, Belgrade apartment we've, we've seen without an oven. You know, living room, your entrance, bathroom. So where's the second bed at? Second bed might be in the one bedroom actually. Um, this is not too impressive. You, you have burners to cook stuff on, but you don't have an oven to put pizza in. Alrighty guys, uh, the last apartment is, you know, let's look at this $2,000 a month apartment in Belgrade, Serbia. So it's actually only one bedroom, one bed, and one bath. So this is less capacity than we've seen in most of our other apartments. I think this is actually the smallest apartment we've seen for the most amount of money. So we have, but it's expensive furniture. So we have expensive artwork. It seems like expensive light fixtures. Like look at this light fixture right here. Um, you know, the TV is really low down TV for some reason, just to sit in this chair and watch the TV straight in front of you. More like fixtures on the wall like that. Wood flooring rug. I mean, it looks like a decent living room. The bedroom. So you have a closet right here. You have a bed right in. You have a TV right in front of your bed. You have a view of another apartment with the natural sunlight coming in. The green wall is pretty weird, but it's all right. Fancy a bathroom, you know, you have a nice sink, nice lighted mirror with a nice shower. The view is pretty cool, honestly, if it's just like down the street. Yeah, see the light fixtures are pretty cool, but we didn't even get a picture Wait, no, this is a picture of the kitchen. My bad, I missed it. So, yeah, you have a very small oven. Well, it's actually not that small at all. There's two different racks. Uh, no microwave. It looks like, yeah, there's burners up there to cook stuff on in, like, a pan. But there's no microwave, all white cupboards. So, it's just, you know, it's really just a whole bunch of stuff you don't need. This apartment's definitely not worth $2,000. You can get a lot more capacity for 2000 you can get more capacity for a thousand dollars in belgrade so I'm not sure why you would be paying two thousand a month to stay in this one and oh look there's a service fee of 204 dollars so it's actually two thousand one hundred and twenty eight dollars to stay in that apartment it's just a whole bunch of fancy furniture and fancy lighting that you don't need it's nothing too fantastic over like the eight hundred dollar ones 
Uh, so yeah, there's nothing there really. See, like six thirty six. This works perfectly. There's nice lighting in that one. You know, seven ninety nine, thousand eight forty two, six seventy five, one uh, eleven eleven hundred. So. You definitely do not need a two thousand dollar apartment in Belgrade. You're probably going to get away with eight hundred dollars a month for an apartment with all your services paid for. Uh, and again, this is all going to be all for this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hey, please hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and comment which do you want me to do next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.